With more than 1,000 of those teens who were detained at the border now staying in Dallas, migration experts say it could be up to 45 days before they are paired with family members. The surge of unaccompanied children at the border is showing no sign of slowing down. Customs and Border Protection says more than 9,400 children came in February. For comparison, nearly 5,000 children were detained in December, the last full month under President Trump. Sometimes there is not enough shelter capacity. This is one of those times, and that's why the government has needed to turn to emergency facilities. Mark Greenberg worked for Health and Human Services under the Obama administration, specifically as the acting assistant secretary for children and families. He says while teens are at the Dallas Convention Center, officials are working to locate family members as sponsors. The length of time before they get released varies over time, but it's often in the range of 30, 40, 45 days. And that's because before they can release the child, if someone says they're the parent, they need to be sure they really are the parent. Um, and the, there's a need to do what they refer to as vetting to um, uh, determine if the person or someone in the home has a criminal history um, to check sex abuse registries. The reason for the surge at the border has become another political round of finger pointing, with Republicans criticizing the Biden administration for refusing to call the border surge a crisis and admit that they're overwhelmed. We are not expelling vulnerable children. Uh, at the same time, we are encouraging them not to take the dangerous journey. On Fox News Sunday, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas blamed the Trump administration for what he calls a dismantling of the migration process. The numbers have peaked in the last two months. Mayorkas has been criticized for not allowing the media to see the conditions of the sites at the border or intake sites like Dallas. We're working on providing access. Greenberg says the vetting process for family members is important to ensure children aren't placed in dangerous situations like human trafficking. HHS says while in Dallas, children are being tested for COVID every three days. We have learned the federal government is paying Dallas $8 million for use of the convention center. Greenberg says while with family members, the children will wait until their asylum proceedings. He says historical statistics show a majority of those children will be able to grant granted permission to stay here after those proceedings happen.